and bitlead is now up okay make sure everything's good nice okay let's move everything here and turn on the auto program. Just so case the progress. And get okay. I might wait a minute or two. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think it was money more faster than usual. Okay. I think I will start now. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Is something off of the... Okay, odd. I don't know it. I don't know why it took a quick minute for the capsule to start. A little odd to be honest, but good to see. Okay. Uh, so I'm just a little bit out of breath right now. I was doing some up oh, dogs in the room now. Hello Harvey, the dog is in the room. Uh he's super excited right now. I have no idea if he's gonna start barking like crazy. But Okay, hi everybody. I hope everybody's been having a good day. Today is now a Friday, so is we're getting closer to the end of the week. Hopefully people had a nice week, and hopefully things will be nice for the Saturdays. Uh, I had a pretty busy day. I started the morning off with doing some schoolwork, and then me and my family, we did some yard work, and then we quickly went to a place to eat, and then I walked, and now I ran back here to now start streaming. I did a pretty busy this week, like, there was stuff that was taking away my focus and I couldn't focus on the personal project as much as I wanted to, but, hey, this stuff is now over and I can put a little bit more time into the personal stuff. So, first things first to do in a useful routine is to showcase the progress I did do for the personal project. And maybe go on, like, what was important during the week. And if the same thing is going to, like, take my time or what to focus on for the project. So, I'm going to change Cena. Um, change the capsule from the game to the art program. It might take a minute or two for the thing to load. But right now, I need to lower myself down a bit. And zoom up. Hopefully, this is a good score. Good spot for me. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna take a quick minute or two to be finished loading. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Nope. Uh, okay, good. It started to load. Hopefully you guys can see this. If there's some sort of issue going on with the visuals, please let, please let me know. But currently, I am getting close to finishing the outfits for this character. I am halfway done to be exact when it comes to the outfits. After that, I have to work on some character expressions. Like, you know, different eyes and mouth shapes. But in terms of the outfits... Uh, oh, wait, no, that's just the eyes. Sorry, my bad, but like, you know, after I'm done the outfits, I have to work on the facial expressions. But in terms of the outfits, I've gotten the base of the outfit now done. Which I'm happy and it's quite nice to see. 
Of course, during the last look scene, I may, we mainly just focus on getting the puff, like the full bits, on the code to be done. Apologies, I got a phone notification. And it was not much. Oh, wait, I forgot to turn on something. Let me just turn it on real quick. I might have turned it off by... Yeah, I think I turned it off. Use setting... Uh, see, the streamer mode. Turn on the streamer mode. Okay. Things now on. That's nice to see. And... Let's continue on. Okay. Time for the little pause. Okay. Let me now go back to the stuff. So yeah, after that done, I got I started working on the hair. I'm thinking I think I get I'm trying to get a little bit better at hair. It's like you know you can see the stuff of hair, puffs of hair. Like you can see like this is one big puff of hair, and you can see like the little individual strands of hair as well, which where I wanted to go. So this is the base outfit, like the main outfit the character we're using. I got the casual outfit done. I'm actually happy how the shirt and scarf turned out. I, it went as, as I wanted to go. Coats, it just looks like a, a jacket. Not much of a sweater. But I replaced the sweater with a scarf. So hopefully that counts as a mount. Because I was going somewhat as a autumn vibe. And I tried going like some wrinkles on the pants as well. And of course, a different hairstyle. Again, you can see like the clumps up here and with the individual styles. Luckily for this character's swimsuit, it covers more skin than the other characters. So, so, so I feel like a bit more comfortable showing this on Twitch. Hopefully, I do not get snapped by Switch. But yeah, a simple swimming trunks with a small flower. For this sort, I tried going to like a translucent sort. So if it was like transparent, it would have just seen right through the sort. But this is translucent, so as you can see this part. But once we get to the skin area, you can kind of see where the skin see through a bit. Sail in a hairstyle. Once again, you can see like, okay, where's the big clunks of hairs at? And some interesting styles of hair. Hopefully they all look good when you zoom away. Next up is the fancy outfit. Uh, for fancy outfits, I usually go for like more magical based outfits or more weird ones. And this is quite off of me. I don't know why, but the sketch was not on the hell I like it to be. Who you knows? If it's not done by the next work stream, I might focus on this outfit. I am happy with the hair at least. Uh, the big clumps ago. And after that, it is going to be the suit. And then the bed bear outfits. And of course, the expressions. That is it in terms of the auto program. So, I'm going to turn this off. Turn all of these stuff off. And now I am going to start the game. Eki Costume Quest. Hopefully it doesn't take too long for me, too long for it to load. So, please wait one moment for me to get the thing started up. Boom. And... Boom. Play. Okay, it might be a little... Ah, weird. Wait, that means I can easily capture it. Costume quest. Here it is. Okay. Uh, hopefully it's not too difficult for it to load. Okay. We yeah, it's not turning on. Oh. Okay, we are the game's crashing a bit. Hey, but at least this is up. Nice. Yeah, why is it having a hard time going? Yeah, no, it's only on and off. What? 
Weird, why is it totally not enough? Yeah, it's like this happening. Uh, yeah, confirm. Stop the game. And start playing again. Weird, why is it turning on and off? Okay, that's weird. It started going on and off. But, it it's now continuing on. I do hope I don't have any more issues. Technical lies. But let's continue on. We're almost done the game. Way right back. Continue game. Costume quest slot one. So. Oh. He's stuck. Nice. That's fun to see. Space. Okay, I just want to get the saving done. So, in terms of last stuff, let's go to the costume stuff. I believe we're now we're in the final area of the game. Wait. Can you guys hear the game? Can you guys hear me? Oh god, hopefully you guys will have any technical issues. Self after one. Ah, oh, uh, self revive. Interesting item, but not one need. In terms of our goals, with what is Sona, we in the Fall Valley area now. So we have the again trick or treating missions. We still have to find four more kids to do. We need to get tickets to the festival. Get tickets and costumes again to the festival. And of course, we need a trick or treat. Stop them. Find the sister. And I believe we also have to get our costumes back. Because we lost them. Oh, they got taken away. We only one want one item away to get the pumpkin costume. And there's still a few more left. And in terms of creepy treats, there's only a these two pages left in terms of we got them all. So, let's move around, and continue on. Oh, shoot. I don't know if the game's too dark, actually, for you guys. If the game's, like, too dark, let me know, actually. Smack the pumpkins. We only have 181 costumes in the inventory. Hey, we finally get... Oh, cross it, Brad. Look what I've done. Oh, what a world, what a world. Look at my kids left. So, it's best that we don't go trick or treating unless we want to start a fight with no costumes. Ooh, ooh, ancient mummy sounds. Hey, but I got sticky stuff all over my sweet, cool, creepy cheap cards. I need another one. I've got some rare ones that are unsticky. I don't have an accident, but but you'll be the first to know. It's cool, not best. So what card do we need exactly? Cause that is the rarest. Trade with a fellow creepy cheat collector to get an act to wear to get a rare card. Extra sweet shoes. So that's the one we need. We don't have it with us. Uh yeah, I believe it's gonna be like one of these cards now. Cool. Some more candy on the way. Ah, the stuff above. Oh, it's uh, another chest. Lots of candy. I'm the kid. Yeah, I wonder, was it actually more like hidden paths? Because, like, it's hard to notice it, like, from this. Because he, you know, object in front of us, excluded view. Well, baking of the pumpkins. And the mailboxes. Mini -me mailboxes, I believe. Because usually, like, those type of mailboxes are just, like, one for house. Uh, but it's, like, a community center way. Because in my neighborhood, when we get the mail is, they don't get delivered straight to our house. 
Instead, it gets into like a box, like a big bo uh, box. Hey there, little ones. Would you like to buy some of my delicious fries? Fries my great, but we're too busy looking for Halloween costumes right now. Really, I do have friends' fry costume. I bought to put them on my fries, and but it's too small for me. Perfect. Will it take three costumes, please? Well, I only have one, but I'll lend it to you if you bring me three new customers. I'll let you have it, plus a full ticket to the carnival. Here, put this fire costume on and use its elicit smell, low ability, to bring back customers to my stand. And will be a winner for once in my pitiful life. Nice! A bag of fights now. So, we got one part of the getting some. Oh, that. Oh, that sound effect is nice. Oh, so terrifying. Oh, one of the satisfying sounds here. Uh, but, like, in terms of, like, community mailboxes, it's where all the mail get to a certain area. So we have, like, a special key. We find our correct box and take our mail. So we need to find customers. Oh, I believe that's the person. Ooh, that's some fence flies. Come on, follow us. I'm gonna eat the fence flies until I puke. Okay. One customer down. Two more to go. And it's still uh, three more kids to find. Let's continue on. This is. I believe like the last area, so it should be more difficult for finding the kids. But okay, there's one more kid, that, one more person there to look for flies. Ooh, I can never see like this being like a hidden area. Hello, banana. This is an actual banana my pa grew on our farm. That's a big one. Yeah, I think it's best for me to focus on the mission. Because since we don't have our costumes, we can use special abilities. Yo, Kubi Cheeks, over here. Sadie, how do you get here in the country? My dad dropped me off. He's so excited, he think I'm camping with you guys. Oh, nice. Did you give you any smalls? No, but I do have more battle stamps. Okay. He's just like blood like eyes and cat again. Uh, we don't need it. Hello. Here we can load the pies. Let's take all of this and open up the box. Nice. More candy. We can easily get another battle stamped. But no less. Oh, I can definitely actually see the hypnotic um, sound. The like, you can hypnosis eyes. Oh, wow, fence vice. Okay, now we need to find one more folk. Uh, um, eh, it's kind of weird. I feel like I live in the countryside now. Where I just moved to. It's kind of interesting. Oh, and that's just behind. Only 20 pieces this time. Not much, though not too little. Yeah, I thought I would have found like, a hidden child by now, but no. Look at I didn't seek. Oh, never mind. I think I spoke too soon. Because, again, that's a kid we came... Oh, okay, we need to... Okay, it's clear that we have to break this. But from my understanding, we need to go for the carnival first. Yeah, okay. Bye-bye. Bye, let's get defense fights. Up we go to get them going. Below us. Oh, you know my this is where the fire sign is. Awesome. We got the three customers, Lord. I want it now. I want it. Here, take these tickets. Good luck finding your costumes. You kids are the best. Let's get the costumes back from the monsters. We have this look up the tickets. The entry to the carnival is now halfway done. We only have to get Costumes back. I want to check something. What is this costume considered? Here it is. Fence flies. Um, no one can resist a hypnotic or a fence fly potatoes. 
It is a special type, and it's melee. Italy, Salt Assault. Salt and Hot Grease stuns all enemies for one turn. Oh, he's stunner. Ability, look. How a team. This costume was given to me by the Chip and Fall Valley to help bring hungry customers to his fence fight stand. Again, this is such a such satisfying sound. Okay, time to do a fight. Hey, buggles. Oh, wait, what stamps am I using for Rit? Is the attack boost. Hopefully that can help us. Oh. Ah. We do this. Hey, food. Okay, so anybody with like the food icon above them, we can trap. You got your costumes back. This completes me. We got our costumes and our tickets. Now that joke at the uh, missing move has no reason to keep us out. Uh, first things first. Oh, okay. They want to get us out. But with all these costumes, we gotta change the load up. So, you, you are a unicorn. And uh, you, you're gonna be the astronaut. For one round, after that, because we're going to try our fives. If we like the fives, I'll trade them out for the astronaut. And he'll just go back to Ninja. But yeah, we got a load up. Luck and loaded. Um, I'm thinking I will do trick-or-treating at the houses first. Then I will move on to the carnival. I think that will be a good idea. So, hopefully it's just a few houses. Because in the crest line, there's only 16 houses, so less in the neighborhood, but more than this, the mall. And hopefully it's less irritating to move around the mall. Get to fence fives. And get to fives. Space. Chica Chico. Please be kind. Nice. The first person of the day. For my estimation, there should be at least eight folks and eight monsters. Okay, the first house is nice and done. The next day, trick or treat. The second folk of the day. Okay, number three, trick or treat. Oops. Oh, it sounds close. First enemies were goblins, then there were orcas, and now they're orcas. That's kind of course, and I love it. Oh wait, these are some nice enemy designs. Chestwalker Assassin and Chestwalker Spearman. The Assassin sounds like more of a damage dealer, has more health. But the Spearman sounds like a folk to... Might do special, so let's see you. Oh, press one button repeatedly. Yeah, snip, snip, snip. Yep. Poison in the yeast. Space. So we have different buttons now. And now, we have these old dots. Wait, why does Lucy have new bat? No stamps. Strange. But we'll just use these two to finish them off. We can the assassin. We use the astronaut to kill the other one. Yeah, because you also assault one. Boom. I check. Oh, wait. Could it be because of the... Oh, yeah. I'm going to try the assault now. It's supposed to be a stun based one. So it can't do anything for the next round. It could be really useful to be honest. A stun based attack. Nice. Summon wings. Okay, 
I'm acting tough, but first things first, the stamps. I don't know why my stamps are messed up. Okay. I'm happy with the poison. I'm happy with that, but strong counter attack, please. Okay. You. Let me see. I will go back to... Hmm. I'll go back to ninjas for an old. You saw the unicorn and you? Yeah, let's do advice. I do want to say well. I might keep the astronaut because only he has the ultimate ability to use damage. Unicorn is for heal and assassin is for like safety. Plus you have to avoid fights. If we're not feeling like it. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I've been waiting for you all night. And jump scare. Okay. Back to our usual builds. Mm -hmm. Yep, I got a quick message. Hopefully it's enough. Okay, it's just a wait thing going on. Ooh, two spearmen and a booze. I think it's best to go for the booze of force. And yeah, I just like the damage in general. This is so nice to have. And above. How much? Ooh, yeah. This. He's ever gonna die next turn. By poison alone. And okay. You gotta get hit twice, but at least we get a counter hit going. 48. Not much, but it's something. So let's rocket you to just to get things moving. Yeah. Getting you out as fast as possible would be great. And the next one we can spend our ult on the one remaining enemy. Oh yeah, I thought I missed that one often. But yeah. E duck. Uh I don't think we need the heals in. We're gonna finish this fight anyway. The heals are really good for boss battles, which are how long they take. Nice. We got blobs and human crackers. Oh, damn. Okay. 700. I wonder if the creepy treat cards updated. With the small progress. Oh, we might have to continue along. No, it's still the same, too. Okay, let's just continue on with the trick or treating. We want to finish these block of houses. Okay, the one house by itself. We got two folks in a row and two monsters in a row. And we got a folk. Careful with this. I have been watching some new shows. One is more creepier. Or, oh, no, I think it could be considered more of a thriller. It's like a crime based show. And the second one I saw, to, I saw a movie recently. It came out in this month, this October, but it's not a whole film. This was a film that came out during Halloween time. Oh, these are the magics. So my guess it's the monk that's the medic. Wow, that's a really low amount of health. Yeah, no. Finish in one hit. Though I'm afraid of what the monk the mystic might be able to do. Tack up. Okay. So, these are the ones we need to avoid but the most. Well, a assassin there can get things going. Get all the poisons we need up. There's a few more films I do want to watch before the end of the month, both horror and non horror based shows. And I think I'll just watch these shows while I'll do my work. You know. The movie's me playing while I'm getting my assignments done. Yeah, I specify one bad my accident. Because I've done my assignments that are very close to be due. When I just have to hand it in. There's one assignment that is due in three weeks. Or two weeks. So I'm gonna get that one going and get it done. And I have an exam to study too. So there's six times to do.
Chicka sweep. And the next folk. Yay. Hopefully my assignments are not too hard. The look the months going down I have to do it looks simple. And what I say is like total amount to be sought. So you know it's gonna be nice and nicer today. It's just a mix so I say about my notes and keep saying for other stuff. It's up time to move on. Because we are getting close, I believe, to the housing's done here. And other stuff is the chicken team. Ooh, we have Monk and Speedman and Boozer. I do remember during the mall area, I choose not to do a lot of the bonus fights. So which in turn, I didn't farm a lot of XP. So I'm worried about being under leveled now. Yes, I went back there. Once I continue along, once it's level 7. But who knows, I might try to focus on becoming level 8 soon. Hopefully the fights here can make it quite faster. Okay. I want to start doing with the Spearman. It might be a bad idea to let him live, but who knows. Either the poison or... No, he didn't choose... He didn't talk to the Spaceman. My ninja's getting hooked. Well, let's get you up. Get my heals in. Heal a uh, ninja. Hmm. I have been logging in into Identity V. I have not been playing though. I'm just doing my login stuff and just leave. Uh, yeah, his ult really does focus on the damn one folk. Unicorn pilot in fight popcorn. Fight popcorn, what? Eh. The folks do this. Like, this is really like a human size, like a giant human, and set on fire. But looks like this is the last house in the neighborhood. So, once we got this done, we can definitely continue along. And we're lucky today. It is a folk, a bosun. Nice. All the houses here are done, and by the quest line, that was a nine of them. So there's still at least seven places to go trick or treating. And I still got those two. You know, let's just buy in blood side eyeballs. And a cat. Let's just buy them out. Still all seven stamps are left. Oh, cues to get them unequipped. Okay. That is weird. Boom. Okay, that's some weird inventory stuff. Wait. So I'm just done with about how my inventory is being managed. But I do believe that's everything in this area now. So we can open up more areas now with the carnival. So let's just get going. Hopefully we can unlock... Hopefully the scarecrow that we've been following is near. Dun dun. I do not know if I need to go back to the fence fight costume and move folks around. Space. We have all costumes and tickets now. Maybe come in. There, that wasn't so hard, was it? Oh, by the way, the fairs we are walking. Take this constellation costume pattern before I change my mind. Have fun at the carnival. A vampire. Now we're getting some classic costumes. Hey, you're here. Who are you? I have many things. I have a cat, a mysterious scarecrow. Oh, <gasps> yes. But in my truest form, I am simply doing. I'm a mystic and brother of the list the witch. Plot twist. You the list's brother, you've been helping us all along? My sister's falling into a bad crowd. She needs to be brought to her senses. But I can't be the one to do it. Sibling fight? Why? Because he's really mean and I'm totally afraid of her. But 
I can help you do it. Get to the top of the Ferris wheel and you'll find that path. But oh, I'm running out of time. In. Okay. So now we got some information going. So in terms of quests, stop the monsters stealing candy, get the chicken done. I think the Liz is behind this whole mess. Find a way to get her, find a card, find the kids. And all fails that ends well. Something faces at the foot of the carnival. And with a goal is to get to the top of the wheel. Well, first things first is the Bobbing for Apples mini game. Oh, smashable stuff. And we have stuff for the vampire costume. So that's the next thing we need to do. So what it is we can trick or treat as the tents. Oh, hiding kid. But even Mason, the female powers are the most ruthless. Kid, how do you find me? Do you have an X-ray visit? Okay, there's left. Oh, wait. Come on, we can do it. Do we need the next pair to do that, though? It makes sense, though. Why? Hey, what could be more comforting on a cold line than a face full of ice water? Everything. Look, I'll be just honest. The Apple Tree pays me to do this. And they're watching me right now, so can we get to it? Yay, Bob and Fappers. Last one, and probably the most difficult ones. Okay, get the apples. Okay. Getting them going. One third away done. And we... Oh, all the wheels are not popping up as much. And as I say that, a couple of wheels have been popping up. <laughs> and I just said that for them to pop. Okay, totally done. Thank goodness we're both safe. But now from candy. 20 pieces of candy. Number two, please. Are you a corporate overlord? Shh, you're gonna get me fired or worse. 35. Let's see me move on. Get the green ones. Nice. The ones with the worms are all a bit difficult to notice. But... Oh, damn it, that was quick. Because the, ap the apple curls are easy to see. Or to notice, know, because the shape is so noticeable. Um, white ones a little bit more difficult. You need to know. Colors for me are a bit similar to the red ones. More apples means more candies. I usually don't work for the candy industry. You mean you don't realize they're all the same company? 50 pieces of candy. Last one, please. Yes. 40. Okay. Green ones. Oh, that is horse manure. I got that one in just in time. Come on. Okay, happy done at least. Man, come on. Yes, the green one saved the day. And we have it just by what? I believe you won the optimum price. You got a sugar bucket card. Exactly. Nice, we finished the objective. What do you want? Science, I'm preparing for my death to find out. Okay, big guys there. So far, so good. That's that. So far, so good. Some more costumes. Ooh, we need the spaceman for this one. Okay. Weird. We can't get. Through it. Well, I thought we needed it. Because it has a vibe to it. 
Uh, who knows? It may be something later. I say, but I don't think the wider Congo are safe. It's okay to admit it. Okay, the executive is to go up the carnival. But let's get to that later. We still have the trick treating to do. And this is this area we need to explore. Go. Need a tractor? Is a scandy again. Because we need to get to that side of the area, but it's blocked by the roadblock. If that made sense. And I do believe there's more stuff to do in this area. See, so this trick or treating stuff. Yeah, it looks like it wasn't this bit of an area to do. Okay, let's start the trick or treating process. Oh, shit, I forgot to switch costumes. Uh, luckily, it was just a focus person. Okay. Dab. Done. Back to my regular getup. So the one hidden area is kind of off to me. Though we are getting close to the last set of costumes. Another person. Cool. I do think unlocking the carnival might have unlocked more creepy cheat cards. I might not be correct on that. If it is true, we can get things going. And let's fight. For the carnival section. I am a bit confused with the one hidden dark area though. It's quite odd. So, in terms of personal projects, what I'm planning to do next. Still an enemy. Yeah, that's when things become level 8. So, what I'm currently thinking is if I get the second character ready or complete, I could properly inter integrate the first character and the second character. That is a cool attack, I have to admit. Nice, 51. It double hit the counter attacks are in. Because what I'm doing is, the last time I coded in, I got, I was able to get dialogue to work in my game. So, what I can start looking into is the completion requirements for the math B sections. Nice. So, if I can focus in on like how progress, shoot, he did. Oh wait, I have Unicorn to revive him. I just remember that. So you don't have to be wet, honestly. Coconut and bolts. Hmm, no was in sheep though. So. Yes, this is how the plan goes. In my game, when you first meet character A, you also meet character B for the first time. And once you continue on with that first thing with character A, you have the option to meet up with character B later on. So, in terms of how progression goes is... If it's a successful date, a certain variable needs to be kept fat to initiate to initiate a certain dialogue. Okay. Let's case any set of enemies. So, what I want to do is one implement the code, like save the files correctly. And I do want, like, animation going with, like, mouth movement. But I need to think about how to do that. Because it's clear that dialogue comes in immediately. Like, the text going straight in. So, Pami believes that... Code has to do... I need to use a code team. To, like, slowly integrate the text. And when certain texts are hit, specific mouth movement happens. So I need to think about how should I get the animation going for it. Okay, move on. Yep. So I'm thinking of... Ooh, I might just sleep him to live. And use the Alternax. 
Because, yeah, kick this all getting killed fast. No, we are getting big hits in. Just as that. You know, I might have to start using the heals more often. And use the ninja blast more often, too. Okay, we're getting another unicorn pellets and chiplings. Uh, let me take a look. Oh, wait, no, I can see it right there. We need... So, one more fight, and then we level up. And how many more places to trick or treat? Three more places. And I believe that's it. These are the last days. Good. Trick or treat. Another fight. I still have started designing the third character, though. I'm thinking, maybe once I'm done character 3, I should at least... Character 2, I should at least finish designing characters 3. I think I should do that at least minimally. Yeah, again, these folks. Boom. Boom. Yes. And let's get the assassin going. Second, what I'm more excited about with... Oh good, I got the button in in time. And even get the counter strike going. 51. So yeah, with the ninja and unicorn hit, I can move on to the next guy. Yee, big hits. All that's left is the spearman. Yes, layers. Oh, the little sound effect starts to play if you're starting to miss. It's trying to be late. That's actually you need to know. And this is you guy. 1010. Slash, and there's no need to hold on you. Okay, I'm gonna start the fight so I can properly focus on what I'm planning to do with the stuff. But now we're officially level 8. Good to see. So. If the two characters are in the game, let's imagine this. What I can start doing is make more dialogue for them. And have the randomness in. And maybe I will start adding in like progressing in the game. Like unlocks, learning more information, and progressing with the characters. I can also start working on the double date f the double date game part. Gameplay though. Because of this is a single date. And so, if I can get the double A to work as well, then I am waiting by like how things will be coded in. I do feel like I can do, but I do feel I can reuse code in a certain in certain parts. Though for the main part, some pieces have to have changed code. Some can easily be changed. Some might not much, but others I do believe I have to change the code for. To fit the double date aspects. But once that works, it can go in. Yeah. That's so weird. Maybe I'm doing that too early. In terms of other things I want to start doing, a go of course. So yeah, maybe I could like I got a lot of progress done in the game coding wise without the characters. But I think with the characters, I can get even more, much more options available. And it looks like this is the last fight for the required trick or treating aspect. It's good to see, I want to see how the numbers are at with the higher level. Because hey, we're level 8 now. We should match our opponents. Okay. Oh, we might be a little bit over leveled. Which could be actually nice. Yeah, no, I can almost one eight KO him. That's actually jamming nice to see. Uh, let's check the guardsman. V. And yeah, Ever does have the most amount of health. 235. Counter damage is a little bit higher, though not as much. Because if we wanted to do more damage, we need to get the stronger, even stronger version of it. But I don't think that's currently fair. We can simply leave poison there, like you die. 
And a move. Are you guys feeling well? Is chat not working? Shit, yeah, no, too late. Yeah, Ninja can definitely kill you. No, no. Close, but not... Perfect. Chicken Chicken's is done here. A buff roll up. That's actually nice. That's the latest sins. Look, Punglins are silent, are indicating that all houses and tents are free of candy. The list of the kind has sent a recording message for the occasion. We're done here, everybody. Let's go home. Yeah, that's a nice message. Okay, he's not done. So, you up there. And there's some monsters up here. Let us go. Please, I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> See, I told you these humans are full of candies. You're right, I guess I owe you a hug after all. Uh, somebody else a hug. Hey, let those guys down. Give us those kids that always told us about. We can't let them go get on the fancy wheel. Gotta get those kids. Okay, good. We have to fight. So, if we start the fight on the ground floor, we can easily do it on the second floor. Yeah. So who do attack first? The Spearman is the lowest amount of health, so let's take you out. I do think with the amount of damage we can do now since we're now at 8, matching these guys for levels. We don't have to worry that much. Poison can take you out next round. He did. If one of them attacks the spaceman, we can definitely do a counter damage. Nice. Still not fat. Still not strong enough. Though hopefully poison can definitely make it much faster. No, poison is not gonna take him out next round. Oh, but it's back a counter will. Nice. This is after the unicorn, so the defense will help. Slashy dice. You and I think we'll just alt. Yeah, just alt them. Oh wait, he actually survived. Never mind. Poison. We got another misfortune cookie and a chocolate hamburger. Okay, we can get all these candies in. Nice and good. Let's move back a bit. Cause it's still a bit of secret behind. Oh no. Well, let's just open the chest to get some scary things. First item we needed for the vampire costume. Uh, that's important to find. It's weird, weird. I don't think we will be able to fix the damage that was done to this control panel. So, in case, the place will be closed for a very long time. We have to find another way. Come on, let's look around for the console. If we could fly. Okay. So access to the carnival fl the fancy floor is up. Though the machine is broken. So we can't use that method. We just simply use the tent. E. Please, little ones, I'm also the cannon tusk oddball, prepared to be a status as a client to this cannon explosive the air and kill speed. Your name sounds like a menu item at a st stinky Italian Stinky Italian restaurant. Well, all great human cannons are named after past that it's suggested. Do you think it would be okay for us to use a cannon to get on top of the Ferris wheel? No, the cannon may only be used by professional, and I also am the only one here who is skilled enough to withstand its tennis blast. If you are a professional, does that mean you're licensed and injured? Well, look, there's a reason I'm not doing this act in Vegas, kids. So far, so good. Yeah, I do not know if. Yeah, let me try something. Costume, power fights. Let's do this. Fights with us. You cannot mess with us. No. If it's yours. Oh, ninja. 
Hey, guess what? <laughs> nice. You can't see us if you're too blind. So he doesn't see us. Pause, I can pause. Keep your eyelids pointed away from the person next to you because they're going to explode when you see this awesomeness. What is what he chooses doing to my cannon? Come on, look. Lucky, so it's a FIBA calculation. Got it. Thank you, Abucha. Uh, did they go say he knows Abucha? Yep. Yeet. To a fight. Okay. This is more of my mandatory fights. And there's gonna be like the more Monchi parts of the area. Okay. Monk. You're next. Unicorn can, can kill. I messed up, but at least poison is in fact. Oh, the grenade dude. He will definitely set us on fire. It's the best to take him out too. Kill. The block, and then he's gonna flow away. I'm currently thinking for film so hard, so I'm doing all my work. Yes, this is one TV, so I'm watching. I'm in close to the end. I'm on the last episode, so it's gonna be too long, and I need to find a new soda what's next. Wait, why did I choose to die? I thought poison would end. Eh. Swang buddy. E nice way goes to death. So let's just deal all the damage we can. Medium. Definitely that. The quiet chick of she got. Okay, that's good. Thank you for saving us. I feel less vomiting. Well, right, guys, let's keep an eye out for the door Dorian told us about. Over there! Ah, that's what we need. Zoto Vido. Uh, okay. That's where we need to go. Come on, let's get down from here. Where's the recommendation for this scent? We did it! I gotta figure out a clever way to get down from this fair so that is both possible and practical. Okay, fine, I'm just willing to s spend my discipline just for this once. Okay, that's kinda funny. Hey, you, you gonna give us a reward? I never seen anyone get onto or off a fair like that before. That was amazing. No, nothing? Oh man, that sucks. Now we still get going now. Do we have to use, uh, light men? Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, we have to space men away. Nice. We got through. Do this here, you have the... Ooh, more parts. Okay, we can easily go for here to start fights. I continue along, but... We want to get these going. Another creepy chick crest. I need it, got it, need it, need it. Oh, hey, I need a unicorn palette. Oh, yeah. That was very quick. You know, Chicka Genie, you know, can get us done. I found me, and next. Second last kids. Uh, pick this wall. And next, we got a sort of back deck. You got anything new? Yes, they do. Moldy Pumpkin Punch. Toxic Summon Effect. Attack to splash damage and may apply damage over time. E Yodeling Black Widow. Terrified. It will be great chance to cause a single enemy to flee. And to apply to a paper. It will apply an uh, attackable stun to a single enemy for two turns. Moldy Guts. Toilet Paper. Okay. Splash damage and apply... That. I'll tell you that, honestly. It sounds good to be fully honest. Splash them as I do enjoy, and maybe I find the satisfaction even better as well. But it really depends on how much damage I do with this splash. Because I am sacrificing way more damage. Do I could she call? Nice, we did. So, we're done the two Kibichu Chris cards. All that's left is the one trick or treater. Hiding key we need to do. Nope. I do hope it's not too far 
hard difficult to find one kid. Because I'll be a little annoyed that we do this game without finding the last kid. But I do believe he, he's in this one area at least. Okay, tab. Astronaut. Cave. Ooh. Ooh, mystery. Another costume menu as well. Black cloth. He's all oh, these are shortcuts. Okay, we started to find our shortcuts now. And that's nice to see. So that shortcut was for the carnival area. The next one I presume will be for the town. Easily for getting to the end. Okay. Thank you. We're getting closer to the next level. So having some more fights can definitely help us. I think being level 9 might be a good idea for the final fight. So maybe level 10 might be the best choice. Okay, 30. Okay. Damage might be low, but... I can't, I can't get a good read, though he did got poisons. So that's actually nice. Ooh. Though... Yeah, poison is really nice. The prevent stick is gonna kinda of kick in. I'm still not sure if I want to keep the low damage. For the ink, for the splash. The splash is more than 20 feet minimally. But it does do at least good damage. Is uh, it's just a stat poison. Because the unicorn can't use the poison. But the splash has a chance. So, more XP for us. Uh. Okay. Look like some of these invisible invisible walls might be weird. Yeah, yeah, we're here though. Back to carnival, eh? Oh, cool. Some of us in a bath. Is this the last? Yeah, costume item. We got the white makeup. We're officially the vampire. Okay, now I'm curious. What does the vampire do? Vampire. Oh, it's also an attack type. A resistance being who subtends by feeding on the life essence of a living creature. Fight. Magic. Comic ability. There's a bat in my hip. A flock of bats attacks all enemies. And returns health. Damage and heal. That's actually going to be really helpful, honestly. The carnival ticket taker in the fall bag gave me this costume pattern. I found a material seen it in the treasure coffins around the neighborhood. Cool. I think that's the last haunted scarecrow too. So, what are you doing? It's like okay, Mr. Scarecrow. Dude, I know it's we know it's you. Oh lad, well, do you know I give you this? Leaves. Oh yeah, you give us a public cost material. Well, okay, but how about this? Big black gate. Oh, what's the device to? It will help you, but it will speak for you whenever you're in big trouble. And I have to say, big trouble. Now goodbye, children. Win, win, and good luck. Nice. Oh, my bad. What are you doing? Oh, I thought it was a... Oh, he was hiding. Nice. And we got a bat bucket. We went from pumpkin to bats. Okay, finally, it is the pumpkin. Pumpkin, the classic jack o lantern costume. It's also an attacker based one, and it's wings. All houses, a powerful tenenda cuts all enemies' health in half. How we retain this? No specifics. They're in disguise as a scarecrow and giving me the pattern and the first material of this costume in open pines. He returned with me again the following April to give me other materials. So, keep you, you, and you. Good. Hopefully the setup is gonna be good enough for everybody. 
And before the final fight, we can get some more battle stamps. And of course... Boom. Okay, gun maze and a save point. Are the police gonna come take care of these monsters? Yay. Okay, yeah, too close. I don't want to fight you, I want to help you. Dolores wants to live in our world, and we don't want her there. Why should we trust you? Because he's more cool to us than Big Bones himself. She has imprisoned my friends and help and me in this corn maze. Please help us. Here, take this goblin costume pattern. It'll look like one of us so you get past the guards. Ooh, costume pattern. Nice. How many missions are there left? Oh, cool. We almost done all the quests in the game. So there's one more costume. May I find complete the creepy tree collection to find out. Oh, we we legit need one more. Cost we need one more card to find it. But we need to get a goblin one. Nice. So we need to find the find path of it. Go anyways. Uh, can this be bacon? Back away from the gate, kid. No humans allowed. Glad up. Okay, we need the costume to get for you. That's good to note. So, where should we start? Uh, no, we can't go through there. We need to. This might be a good minute to do. Long. I just want to get in some fights so we can test out these costumes. Like that. And I'm curious about how the pumpkin and vampire looks. Ooh, I actually like these designs for the models. Two enemies. I'm not using most special base ones. Ooh, that walk was nice. Nine and ten. So yeah, these are definitely more. So all enemies. Wanna fight this blast? I do might just switch. Space. So the different button masters. Space. Nine oh shriek. Christ, that's big. So heals are definitely needed. The majors are known to be the most deadly ones when it comes to damage. So, we need to find the last QBG card to get the costume. I want to get all the costumes in the game. Okay, we're not here. Move up instead. Ooh, he moves fast. Oh, I seem to get a disco notification. Make that. Please, I was going crazy in here. Thanks for saving me. Here, take this. Bull up sack for the costume. And good, we got a shortcut out of the maze. So, the clothes are around here. And so... Hmm, so that's how he's gonna go around. Come on, let's attack you. Attack! Get the bucket, get the chest, and we move on with more levels. Hopefully. A loose. I do think mummy's costumes are loading up. Ooh, yeah. Mage definitely first. Oh, Bomber's doing up a lot of health. GG's. Yeah, I think other tokens do have the lowest amount. There's a good number. 51. Eh, I forgot. It ain't the best. Neat. So, with these good... I can't get a good read about the vampire one. Oh, the poison effect was able to apply to both of them. That's some good luck. And with the counter damage, we can get even more damage in. Yeah, the mage is the most worthy in some. With the amount of damage, it can easily do. 
Pumpkin is as interesting as he. Cute. Repeat. There, yeah, the 71. That's a good number, baby. Number C. So, yeah, Vampire is attacked, but not super dark. Though, Oh Hell's Eve. Takes them right in half. And finally, bats in my hair. Army of Vast to go. Yee. And a nice little heal. Ah, I already have the two cards. There's still one more left. I'm just curious about what would the last one be? And what, how big is the costume? Just candy. 50 pieces though, at least. Nothing moving. Back, gotcha. And once again, we are getting close to we gain happy death for the level. Leaves and bits. Two major a mage and two of the assassins. And so let's just finish off the maze. I seen his numbers and I'm afraid of those numbers. Risk of poison? I'm gonna risk it. Hope I'm just playing that the damage is enough. No, he's literally about to die. Though, if he doesn't counter a vampire, Lucy, I'm good. So, the counter damage. Oh, I just realized the counter is almost. Yeah, now I know who the next target is. Yeah. I do not want you to get those bonus hits in. Ah, I can see where the town in Carnival is actually at. That's actually cute. I never noticed that in the backgrounds of these fights. Poison Finnis. Poison Injured. And also Eddie. These are good. 96. Five because it's the poison or alt. I'm just thinking about it now because I could simply talk about shows I've been watching. Oh, wrong number. I just been first again because, you know, we can finish this main campaign in the stream. But currently thinking of, like, uh. Wait. Oh, it's just a loop. I just realized that. In terms of shows I've been watching, I recently watched the film The School for Good and Evil. I actually like it. It's a long film, though. Two hours. Damn. Kind of long, though. I did enjoy it, though. The one thing I was kind of confused was why did they use Britney Spears' Toxic? It's like playing at one point in the film, which kind of su surprised me, honestly. I don't know where he's going. He might go back up. Yeah, he's going there. Let's get you, and then moving on. I did like the film, The School for Good and Evil. I like the plot. The ending is really good for sequel baits. I don't know if they are going to make a sequel to it. I do know it is based off of a series of books. Though, I do not know if the books was had enough material for a single film or multiple films. One button. Well, yeah, no, he needs to get back again. Though, the amount of damage we have of it. No, I don't need to do it to the back attack. The counter will deal and then the splash will hit. Plus poison. Though he's getting hit multiple times. So hopefully he can stay long enough that we can use the ultimate abilities. Dead. Shoy. Uh, get him out. He is the most weakest. And I need to use the unicorn hit just to get him back up. 
Luckily, they don't can do enough damage to knock him, to knock another body member out. But at least all how leaves and use the unicorn to revive back the vampire. He does get like it's dead. Yes, revive him, please. Nice, back to the dead and for healed. And of course, dance for all, please. Eighty-five, so not a lot of damage. Though the heal can also be useful. So good. Good to know that the ult charge also carries over. <gasps> Look goodbye, I think that's the last one we don't have. Level up! Please tell me that's the last... No, we already had the Book of Spy. I do not know what is the last card. We might have uh, this fight in general to get to it, but we're also level 9 now. And there's a fight here. Just a fight. But who knows? They might have the last card. I generally want to get it. In terms of souls I've been watching, like the one spooky soul was the Watcher on Netflix. Apparently that they state them themselves that it's based on a real story. I do not know how true the statement is because for souls they like to build up the play up the skills or the seriousness. <laughs> like over exaggerating in some ways. Okay, I'm just dead. This blast and poison can definitely finish some things off. Oh the campus can definitely help. And we just recently became level 9, too. So I do think with all these fights, I might be able to get to level 10. Okay, you are the next person to target. Uh, Bill? Splash can definitely finish you off, and we can get the guy. Oh, now the Unicorn's doing over 100. That's actually really good. I'm happy for my creepy chip builds. Space. Still not dead, and can do more counters. 73. All how leaves, yeah. It's directly just making them go half. So, still have a lot more health. Can easily finish them off. And we can just simply do regular attacks to finish them off. Yeah. Jaw Hunters. I don't recall getting a Jaw Hunter. We got him! Oh, we got Black Cat! Nice, we've basically gotten all the creepy cheat cards in the game. And we got a new costume. The Black Cat. It's a special type and it's magic. This leak feline is often thought to bring either good or bad luck. Comic ability cast me out a booming roar with a chance to cause each enemy to flee. Ah. I, I like the description how we got him. After completing my card collection, I wizard should on the creepy cheek website and got this free costume. Okay. I wanna try it. How the cat goes. I'm gonna keep the vampire because of the heal damage. And I'm wondering, do any of them add bonus stats? Cat, no. Unicorn, yes. Vampire... Oh, that's interesting. The vampire decreases both health... ...and attack. Oh, but the trade-off is group attack and heals. Interesting to say, at least. I know this is so confident because of the stat decrease. Uh, let's make these pumpkins. Okay. There he is. I'm gonna get the counter. Kid, Bailo. 
Oh. Big yet. Big hot. Oh, two medics and a warlock. Great. Okay, let's do the cat. Oh, that pure was a nice sound effects. Ah, oh, lightning attack. I'm curious, how does the old works? And the more part is the medic is still up. He can easily heal up the attack one. Because he attacked boost of medic. Oh yeah, no, they do big damage. I can never see how the attack boost can definitely help. Now it's cats me out. I wanna see how this works against because it's just a chance to make enemies leave. Now he's attack buffing himself. That's Meow. Master of Disguise. No effect. Oh uh, yeah, no, I might just switch entirely. The cat costume's nice. I like the sound effect and animations for it. Though, the ultimate ability being RNG is something I do not like. So I'm not gonna get to know the pumpkin, pumpkin dude. Oh cool, Jess. More candy. Boy, oh, we need to do lots more fighting. Just to get to level 10. Though I believe level 10 is max. So getting that up could help us. You know, complete grass And now I'm gonna get another piece of corn again. Fortunately for me, there is no corn in Punka. We got some dirty socks. So, two seconds done. There is a third one left to do. We need to get past the guards, though, to move on to the final area. Boom. And so as I'm playing the watch for October, while I might just watch it while I'm just doing my work and stuff. I'm thinking of... It's got like 20 to 8 days haunted or something. The idea is like, they get three groups of so-called professional ghost hunters. And it's lit, force them to stay in a haunted area for a few days. Oh, God damn, I pressed the wrong button. I do feel like it's fake because... Usually reality TV shows, they are also quite fake. They like to play things up for the camera, but I'm wondering like how fun it would be to watch. This is supposed to be like a haunted house, and I can definitely imagine the studio screwing around with the contestants. Just to mess with them. Okay, I'll just leave it like this. I'm gonna hope that the poison is strong enough to end them, and the enemies. If not, then we just have the other two folks fall out. Yeah. Unless the other guy attacks the vampire. No, they want him dead. And this could finish them off. More XP, some more candy, and more unicorn pallets. I think that's the one QB chip card I'm getting the most. Okay, so it's not that way. We're moving towards it. There's still a lot of XP we have to fight. We have to do, there's a lot of fights for self to do. Um, realistically, part of the. Oh, there's like a bust out. I do want to find the remaining, like, hatchet. Just to get like, some more creepy sheet cards. Yeah, okay, more enemies, though. We might even fight the bomber guy. This looks like a grenade as well. Let's go after you first. A little bit more because they're all more level than us. But being level 10 might be the best one for us. Yep. Boom. Yeah, a lot of them are still very healthy. Although the poison is making them weaker slowly but slowly. And having splash can definitely help. Unless he dies. He might die though. Poison laughable. 
So let's just get you off. I'm definitely going to heal him next round if he stays alive. Because I don't want to lose the him. Okay, poison. Finish the other guy. Yes, he did. Oh yeah, counter hit. Nice. Ew. Ooh. All hell's Eve. Heal up. We're going to use all our ults for today. Nice. My Penny picked up. Heal the Jackal. Full health. In batching here for both damage and healing the others. This was a good for me to get a good beat on the heals. Oh, we got you full health. Because I'll use the unicorn for big emergency heals while fan fights with this casual healing. I think that might be a good strategy for now. Yeah, we're making over 2,000 for each fight. If we can keep that up. Oh, I can't go up the tower. That would have been so nice if I could have. More candy, 50 pieces still. Curious if the stamp place is gonna open up with more stamps. So there's a fight there we have to do. Okay, last area. Hello. About time, Jeeves, you humans are so slow here. Take this costume piece and give the those folks for the mask. Monsters, dude, chill. It's just with me in the costume, remember? Okay, oh, this costume gives us a lot more attack. Costume pattern. If you can't beat them, join them. Oh, we can't use this for fights. Okay. So, we have to change immediately for this one. Okay, now what? Wait, what? Ah, wait, you look kind of like my mom. Mm -hmm. oh, that's what we need. Space. Uh, hi, I captured those super kids. I'm gonna take them to the list now. Wow, you did it. Wait a second. Something's not what happened. Plenty stuff. Uh, because I'm such a dumb monster, sometimes I don't really know how to work my voice out. Okay, come on now. Nice. Let's go back to costumes. Dab. Pumpkin. Let's go. We might need to use the world, but again, for this week. Yeah, single pumpkin. Yay, little one up candies. Oh, but it likes to be worse for bad guys for facing the place. But let's just switch back and continue along with the fights. I do not know what's ahead. I just hope it's a shortcut to the oh, the stamp area. Yeah. The girls and bellies are nice, but I do wish they had more puzzles. We made it free and clear. You jinx it. Sorry, but come on, we need to separate the little things. Like, like this, you mean? I saw you little. Just give me a sec. Don't worry about time. Want us to come over there? It can save us a lot of time, honestly. Now I'll say that and wait, you up. Uh, here we are. Doom. At least the kids were nice enough to wait for him. Okay. Big guy's up again. Wait, I don't have the ninja outfit. I might be afraid about his big hits. Yeah, I feel like Max is a little bit Ooh, weaker. I don't know how to say. Oh, and he said it's not really that good for boss fights. I don't know. Though this could help. Face. Yeah. So hopefully we can do enough damage for him that we don't have to worry about his machine handedness. No, I do feel like this machine is gonna hit us. Unless we do enough damage. Me. Damn it. And it was a count too. 
shoot. Okay, he is gonna go back up after this, so I'm gonna use my old army after. So finish off the machine and spam the ults. Come on. Oh, no, just no machine, just map. Just a big dip. Okay. that in boom so once again there are the coffins oh i don't know which way is the correct going so we have the coffins to the past here yes oh wait do i need night that looks like a place i need a night for it is a place i need a night for and this is the last area yeah this is a shortcut to the sap stop. Nice. Okay, keep it place. Okay, these are the big ones. Let's see. Bull of blood set eyeballs. Greatly increase critical strike damage. Veteran in Witch's Boot. Lethal poison attacks may apply a powerful over time damage. And Headless Master. Auto resurrect self after one tool with all eight speed. Uh, Witch's Boo, and let's do Bloodside Out Vials. Okay. Witch's Brewer. For that, and Bloodside Eyeballs. Back to you. Because I do feel like next up is going to be the final boss fight, and thus, I want to make some ready for it. And... So I might cast her sense into him violently. Uh, looks like my two cast have been arguing again. And now my cast are just here. So, hi Grace. You're gonna see you in for the rest of the day? You're welcome. Just say if you want, cat. Come on, Grace. I think she's so mad from Norton. So, by the looks of it, final fight. Do I think I'm way? I like my team set up, and I have recently just changed. Do I really have to switch the world, but just for this one moment? But let's do this. Again. I hope this is the last time. Okay, we made it. Hi, Dolores. We're ready to fight. Trick or treat. Oh, sweet, and such nice costumes. Well, just let me see if you have, if I have any candy for you, nice children. Well, here's a nice big piece right here. The other part is, I don't think it want to go with you, in fact. In fact, this guy never wants to see you again. Dolores, you're taking me somewhere anywhere I would be appreciated. So I just messed with that. Listen, I was really being a jerk when I said that thing before. That I also was pretty joking, but we have to stick together. Oh, don't worry, you're all coming with us. We're gonna step through this magic portal of the world where I'll be treated as a queen. Interesting, will we all be in pos position of royalty on the other side? And we will rule for a thousand years, but when we come back, only ten minutes have passed? What? No! You'll be dressed up like Scanny, toss in a sack, and hand over the big bones to satisfy my debt. That he does for you, frankly, is not my concern. We're not coming with you, my sister's not coming with you, and no one is touching our costumes. No, seriously, they worked hard to make those costumes. Well then, so much for treat. Looks are gonna trick up. Ooh. That's a nice 3D model. 4,000 level 20. Oh, and we're still level 9. Oh, we might get knocked out. No, the Unica might just fully heal us. Yeah, we just knock out a corner of it. 33. Okay, not much damage, honestly. 
Oh, they can just help us about. Though I do not know how effective All Hallows Eve is gonna be on her. Because it'll be super broken if it just works. Oh. I still hope. Looks like she's choking up something big. Okay, so she summoned clones. And the one in the middle is preparing to do a big attack. Yeah, no, that really caps at a certain amount. But I don't know how much damage we need to do. Oh yeah, that's it. Inhale. Can heal us a bit. Yeah, V the heals. They don't do much. We might be able to confuse the subject with attempted. What? I didn't get the chance to catch that. Shoot. Though, maybe if we do enough damage. Because I want to save the Unicorn heal. And now the pumpkin one seems more useful now. E. Counter hit. Because that clone seems to be the most healthy. We gotta break a concentration somehow. I didn't know how much damage we have to do to break it. Oh, maybe Cat's Mia could have been useful in this fight. Because who knows, maybe the mount might have like scared away the clones. Because I... <sighs> okay, I know exactly who's the heals going towards. Saving me you. All Hallows Eve can definitely help. Bring back the vampire, please. And the vampire can do a little extra healing to us. With ult. Nice. And pass it here for extra heal. So happy that the Unicorn stays alive. Yeah, that heal is so useful. Vampire's being hit again. They can counter damage. Damn! 400. Oh, do we just do. Oh, our damage is increased further for clones. Weird. Oh, was that been useful attacking the clones instead? I don't know if we need to attack the clones or not. But the main Dolores is almost dead. Okay, attack you. See, yeah, gonna heal up the unicorn next with next ult. Yeah, 158. I just hope she. Oh, and it looks like she's immune to poison. I see that kind of sucks. To be fully honest, V. About again, counter. And a B. Yeah, I wonder if... Ooh, yeah. How is he damaged in Unicorn Heal? I want to use the Unicorn Heal on self. Because if C die, If Unicorn dies, we literally out of a medic. And a revive. And I don't want to lose that at all. In Vampire. Probably for the book. Oh, is this the end of the fight? It is. 3000 XP and another creepy stamp card. Oh, do you just want to leave this whole world? Why won't it let you go? Are you too beautiful? Oh, please. No one has asked me sniff. What creepy cheat card do we got? Lots of cup. Yes. Please. 
Yes, please. Where's my sister? Don't bother me right now, unless you want even bigger fights on your head. Sounds good to me, we already have a fight. Okay, the possible exists, however, could be more ready. Going in? Oh, now what? Uh, no, we don't have to move there. Do we have to go down? I'm not even... I look for more fights yet. Oh, we... Have to talk to her again. Is this battle... Is this the same fight or something different? This is embarrassing. Eh. What's... What the failure of your hopes and dreams? No, having to call for backup. I summon the Vicarious the Insensible. Connor is big bones. Ah, Grim Reaper with candy eyes. Do Jungus for it. Hey, do you guys like to see the flower pattern on his coat? Is it candy that? Boss, I'm sorry, but those two took your candy. What? Uh. Mess it forward. Huh? Is that a speaker Dorian gave you? Dorian, it's me. Dorsa, listen, you don't have to worry about me. I'm on hand with these eyed monsters long enough to trick them into making me repugna. Once I'm in, I can easily use my power to get rid of big bones, that big tub of... Then, I will be the rule of time, not big bones, that... Ah. <laughs> that imbecile. Tub of goo. I'll turn you into a tub of goo. You never said for me, probably not. Nope. Oh, I guess I just love that the people keep coming back. You're on my side. And deal off. Get off. It. She walks away. I must not have enough energy to eat these children now. Almost. So fight? Oh, by the way, have fun doing that, Jock. Yay! Level up, I assume. Fine, I'll just look more of an appetite anyway. Kids, have a feel. You're lucky in my stomach. It's my strange. I just ate a bunch of bacon. <laughs> Uh, how big do we hit? He's 24,000. Okay. I'm just curious how big of a boost to be given. And how deadly is this monster anyway? Kill. Oh. Everybody gets hit, but only the one main attack is main focus. That's gonna be a nuisance. Though, hopefully, the Yuka stays nice and healthy throughout. Come on, we almost have fight. We almost took you out once. Okay, Yuka is now hit. But we covered a good amount. All has E, capping. Yeah, almost 400. Oh, sh shoot. Shoot, wait, wait, how do I go back? Shoot, I waste it. Okay, let's just use this. My bad. If I can help with some more health. And a boom. Send you up 91 damage. Again, pumpkin's being hit, though, you're gonna stay really healthy. He is almost halfway done. I don't know if the boost is gonna kick in. No will. Oh, is it one of those medical folk of this? Like anything else left under this? What? That shit's on cold. 
Though Luffy is almost dead. So Unicorn Heal is on you. No, I think he almost had half. He's just a little bit of half. I don't know if I have for a... It's Unicorn got hit it. Nice. Okay. Using the heal to get the vampire safe. Slash. Send the vampire. Send the vampire back to heal the others. Again, I don't know how you saw the Bloodshot Ice Ball. They're like, oh, great chance for critical hits. That sounds nice. Though I don't know the effect is. And now he's officially under half. You could have someone mean hits. It's like, I do like the seam setup. Two damage dealers. A medic. The main damage user deals big damage. The medic does massive puke for a single folk. And the vampire deals damage and heals for everybody. Okay. Big shot again. Who is it? It's the unicorn. Oh, but it's the unicorn. It's the unicorn. All how ease is still not ready. Ultra now to use next. Oh, it's one of those cami sticks. That's what Sugar Papa likes. Big bones. One thousand seventy-seven health. Let's get you under the thousand. Though I do not know what he's like when. In ways in medic. That is hard. That is real bad, actually. Medic is down. I repeat, medic is dead. Though all Hallows Eve. Definitely in. Hopefully, the vampire healer is good enough. It's not a lot, but it's at least. Yeah, no. Oh yeah, we've been here, so I think. I need to survive the single hit. That's... Okay, we might win actually. I think that's it. Yeah, I was super scared when Manic died. She got... Don't tell me this is a phase 2. No. Dead no. yeah, unicorn and dead vampire. Oh, cool. We got two achievements. Nasty Rider and Sweet Cheeks. I don't know what these achievements are for, but hey. Hey, say some for us. Oh, I will drop off some candy in the mall and then head straight back to Open Pines. It shall be so. Hey guys, can we make a... Hi, can we promise to do this every Halloween? Yes. Yeah. No. Maybe. Okay, losing Everett, I called both of your parents. And they both said it's fine if you stay over. Yay. I wonder if they were ha as happy as I am about making the fence make. Mom. Mom. At least one of their parents are happy to make new fence. Dad Dax. I don't know what some parents do. Good night, kids. Bum bum. Bum. Bum bum bum. bum. Oh, let's get back to business. I pick caramel. Okay, move. I'll pick sour snails. I'll pick black licorice. You call it meat eel? I love black licorice. You can have one of mine, well, if you give me a pack of autumn fan. Is a deal, sis. Okay, I'll pick white chocolate knuckles. You can pick that on the same turn. That's that you swap. Yes, you can. Look, I know things are different in your old town, but I'm taking picky pucks. 
It was my turn. I can't wait forever. Did you just call me babe? Yeah. Yay, that's exit. There's still the DLC left to do, but I think I'll do that next stream. Oh, that's a cute credits. Them, the developers, when costuming. But that is it. I don't know if I will do Goblins of Ice. I might take a stream or two off to maybe play any V, and then maybe I might go back to DLC. But that was essentially a costume quest. I'm happy that I was able to finish this game in three streams. Quite happy about it. So I think now I'll be good enough to end this. I'll say some things. To close the game, please. Oh, this is unlock achievement, but I believe that's for the DLC. Ah, okay. The last request, the last two achievements just goes with beating all the missions and getting things and beating the game. So, okay, change scene. And that's really it for everything. One Sunday is going to be identity V. Tuesday is going to be work as usual. I'll try to get things more done uh, behind the scenes. Try to get more focused on the gap dog. And maybe go back to coding. I am going to look for like organized RNG, but hopefully things will do well. Other than that, thank you very much everybody for stopping by for tonight. Hope everybody has a nice night and have a nice weekend as well. Well then, back up.